Often there's an understated dialogue when it comes to art history about the essential transfiguration of photography. The latest exhibit at the Dali Museum explores this with 111 rare and iconic works on display beginning this weekend. And I am so happy that Beth Bell, Chief Marketing Officer, is back with us to share more. Good to see you. You too. Thanks for having me. I'll say it's all black and white. We were talking about how, you know, it's kind of been the vibe at the museum, you know, because yes. you do. You kind of feel like when you have a new exhibit. It takes over. I'm assuming that there is just a new vibe with every exhibit. It is, and this one is a really fun one. It's a, kind of an eclectic collection of photographs from a collector named David Raymond, who has a very good eye for surrealist photography and um, has over 11 or over 100 works on display, and um, from 50 different artists from around the globe. And um, it's very dramatic looking. We just got our first look at it this yeah. week. It's, you know, the black and the white. And um, it's beautiful and a really great um, collection to display for our community. And do me a favor, Beth. I kind of touched up on this, you know, some things that's not like photographs, not necessarily given maybe the credit that is due. Talk about this when it comes to surrealism and, and what it means and then to be able what it means to have this kind of exhibit. Well, I think I'll start by saying this is the centennial of surrealism. So okay. um, the first Surrealist Manifesto was signed in 1924. Here we are 100 years yeah. later. And the I think what's interesting about this exhibition is the works that are featured are from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And they've got, um, this is when techniques really started to be uh, experimented with, you mm -hmm. know, in the dark room and things. So. A lot of what you'll see is something beyond a photograph, you know, what we typically see. So oh, there's okay. multiple images or solarization or um, multiple exposure, kind of unusual cropping. So um, the Surrealist movement really embraced this as the first form of visual art. And um, so it, and it expanded across the globe, kind of started in Paris. And um, so, you know, we're, we're kind of asking our viewers to look a little deeper, see what you see beyond the surface. I was going to ask what you hope people would gain from this exhibit and it sounds like you just answered that yeah I think it's you know we go back to Salvador Dali he was always experimenting yep. um, with different mediums with different techniques in his own works and this is exactly what's on display here it's just through photography and uh, we're going from photography to something that many people know and appreciate Dark side of the moon. Let's talk a little Pink Floyd. I mean, we're we're touching on the gamuts today, Beth. <laughs> we are. Yes, um, this is exciting for us because um, we have this great structure, the Dolly Dome, um, yes. in our backyard, if you will, and um, we're opening it up in the evenings to feature some new shows that have you know a little different twist than what we might normally feature. So this is a um, display of the entire iconic album from yes. Pink Floyd, but it's set to uh, great visuals of space and time and some of the themes that are found in the album itself. And how does something like this work? I mean, we're taking a look right now how it's select nights as a matter of fact. I mean, is it more of a walk-in, kind of do it on your own, or is it an actual show? What can people expect with this? It's a show. It's about 40 minutes long. Okay. The entire album start to finish, and um, it's in the evening. So we're still running our Dolly Alive 360 show, which shares Dolly's life from start to finish yeah. during our regular museum hours. And then this show is available in the evenings. The price is $25, and you have access to the first floor. Our cafe is open with some really great Pink Floyd inspired drinks oh, and fun. bites. And, um, so you can make a night of it. So we're excited to kind of have, have the museum open later and be able to offer this opportunity. I just love how both of these exhibits that we we're able to touch on in the show just complement what you do at the Dolly. Yeah, we're always striving to uh, find new perspectives. And yeah. I think, you know, the space in the dome itself does that, as well as this photography show. Oh, well, you know what? We want to share information and dates. Of course, people can go to the website to learn more, as always. There are the dates. Kicks off this weekend for the Submersive Eye. And then again, the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon show, 40 minutes, and that's on select nights as well. Take care, Beth. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.